Lately, I've been looking at a lot of old vintage photos and through vintage magazines for inspiration. And when I stumbled across this photo, I just fell in love with this look. I love how the fabrics don't match, but they coordinate so well together. I love the wallpaper on the wall behind her, the cuff bracelets, the thick gold belt. I love everything about this look. And so I thought I would try and recreate it. The sewing pattern that I'm using to recreate this look is a vintage sewing pattern. It's a Butterick 8191 from the 1950s. And I love that this sewing pattern has a jacket as well. And so I'm going to make the blouse and the jacket both out of the same blue floral cotton fabric. And I'm going to be making the skirt out of this darker blue cotton fabric with um, these circles printed on it. So it's not exactly the same as the photo but i think the concept is the same of selecting two fabrics that don't necessarily go together but complement each other well and then that blue theme is still there and i really love that so i laid out all of the pattern pieces before i proceeded with cutting them out this looks to be a fairly simple situation as there's just like two pieces for the blouse and a couple of pieces for the jacket and a couple of pieces for the skirt and so hopefully this is a pretty quick make we will see how it goes So I got these pattern pieces cut out really quickly. The blouse front and the blouse back are it for the top and so that was pretty easy. And here I am transferring the marks for the darts as well as the tucks with chalk onto the fabric and then I will get them all pinned in place. So this project is moving along fairly quickly. I would love to hear in the comment box below what you think of these fabric choices and if you think that it complements each other well. I would also like to hear how you go about finding inspiration for your sewing projects and what your process is for that. Do you ever try to replicate looks or do you just go in a fabric store and get inspired by fabric? I would love to hear your process for planning out your sewing projects or your inspiration and where you find it. So with the blouse almost complete, it will need a side zip and then bias binding around the neck edge as well as the underarm edge. And this is a pretty simple blouse. I could see me making a lot more of this because it is so quick. So I decided to move on to the jacket. And so here you see me pinning the darts in the jacket. I don't know what I think about the blouse and the jacket matching out of the same fabric. So we'll see when it all comes together and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Stop worrying about worrying We will keep turning Doesn't matter what I do I do Trying to be open And keep my head up to words not spoken Makes all the difference to me and you
So a lot of the major construction has already taken place with this make. The jacket will need buttons and buttonholes, of course. And here I am getting that zip in the blouse on the side. And it is really going in pretty smoothly. I've started to baste my zippers in first, and that is making a big deal, a big difference instead of just having the pins in. And then here we have the sleeve pattern for the jacket, as well as our facing pieces. So not a lot left to do. So I'm going to um, get the sleeve pinned in place and get it stitched and then get the entire facing all stitched together so that way we can get it put in and we are moving right along. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine So you see me get the jacket all pinned in place and then I got it sewn. I attached the facing pieces all together and then here you see me pinning it in place directly onto the jacket. And I will now take to the sewing machine. I wanted the edges of the jacket to look really crisp and clean and so I used iron on interfacing on the facing pieces as well as directly onto the jacket itself because this cotton was so thin and it definitely um, helped the jacket look more jacket like and so I'm very happy that I did that and so once I got all of that stitched down I started construction on the skirt you can see on the pattern piece here that the skirt has pleats but we'll get to those later you you've been hiding in the shadows way too long Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. So yes, I am gathering this skirt up. I really just did not feel like dealing with the pleats. They never go well for me. It never comes out right. They never look even. It's always a thing. And so I decided to just go with what was simple and gather the skirt down and then attach a waistband using the same method that I always use and then hem the bottom of the skirt. And um, all I need was zip and it was complete. Shouldn't doubt yourself cause you're a work of art You, you should know that you are perfect with those flaws Yeah you, better step into the light Just give it a try, know that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long So here you see me stitching the waistband down by hand. Um, I will say not only was this a quick project, but I really enjoyed the process of 
making these three pieces. And usually I can only do one piece at a time where I get confused or my brain gets cloudy or whatever. But in this case, I had the skirt, the blouse and the jacket all working at the same time. And it was still a really smooth process. I think I'm learning what order to do things in and how to go about it. And so this is the bias binding on the underarm strips. And so I got those stitched down and then I proceeded to do it around the neck as well. And then I took to working on the jacket and getting the buttonholes and button sewn on. And that really is it for this make. It was a really simple gathered waist skirt, um, a very simple blouse that was made up of two pieces. Um, I'm getting the buttonholes cut open. I got the buttons sewn on. So I think I'm ready for the reveal. So here is the jacket. It came out really, really cute. It's really thin, so it's perfect for summer when you go in the air conditioning and you're freezing. I love the buttons. And this is the skirt. It's just a simple gathered skirt. I think the waistband came out well. Here's the center front. Looks good. Now I'm going to put all three pieces on. And so here we have the blouse. I think it's going to be very flattering. I finished the edge with the bias binding I made and these are the tucks. I think that's going to help this blouse be really flattering. Please let me know what you thought of my fabric choices. This mismatched but somehow coordinating or is it just in my eyes? So I would love to hear your thoughts on this fabric pairing. So please feel free to let me know in the comment box below. And now I will finally put all three pieces on. You shouldn't doubt yourself cause you're a work of art. You, you should know that you are perfect with those flaws. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Know that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long.